So my blender needs a little washing, as you can tell. So I put about three cups of water. We're gonna add a little bit of Dawn dish soap here. And, are you ready for this? Turn it on. Heat it, wash. <gasps> this is actually going to act like a dishwasher and it's going to heat up to 140 degrees and wash itself. And then all I need to do is rinse it and dry it or let it sit. Um, and oftentimes, like I'll leave the cap off if I need to, but it, it washes and then cleans itself and you're good to go. So even when you're making peanut butter and jams, purees or soups or milkshakes or margaritas, um, you know, whatever it is, you can run it through the cycle as many times as you need to based on, you know, if it's something stickier, you might want to run it through twice um, or just once depending on, you know, if it's something that's quick and easy. But I don't have to worry about, you know, where am I washing this? Am I going to fit this in a dishwasher? It does not go into any submerged water. It does not go into a dishwasher. Wash itself, rinse it, and you're good for the next use. I also love that it heats up. So if you look here, we have for cold things. And on this side, then we have for different hot things. So some of the things that I do with this are um, nacho cheese sauce, Alfredo sauce, spaghetti sauces, gravies, hollandaise. Um, I mix cake batters in with this and cupcake batters, brownies, because it's just easier. I don't have to clean anything afterwards because I can just run it through the cycle. Um, so it mixes it all for me. Homemade peanut butters, homemade jams, purees, alternative milks you could do, um, smoothies. So, and then, of course, there's a custom setting as well. So this does so many things that you would never think of. So I absolutely love this blender because of the versatility of hot and cold and because you can get creative and mix up things in it just because of pure laziness or the fact that you really just don't want to do a ton of dishes and it's easier to just throw everything in the blender and mix it together. So this is our deluxe cooking blender. So like I said, this is going to go up to 140 degrees. Um, you can see that it's now heating. So the heating element is warming up. And then once it does, it's going to make a vortex inside of the blender. And it will wash um, a little bit less than three minutes. It will count down. And then it will beep when it's all done. And then that's my cue that it's done. I can rinse it and I'm ready to go for my next use. So I am going to just let this go for a few minutes. It shouldn't take too long to do this. So I'm trying to think what some of the other things are that I've used this for. I mean, honestly, so many different things. Um, eggs, so I've even thrown eggs in this. Um, I've tried to make salsa. You just have to pulse that because you have to watch because it will really blend um, everything together. So the blender blade itself is very sharp and durable so um depending on what it is that you're trying you might want to pulse it so just so that way it doesn't um, mutilate it completely the other things um to keep in mind here is this lid does come off so what happens is is this goes into a lock mode setting for a safety feature so if it is closed and it's working you could open the top part but if you go to open the lid it actually just shuts the blade completely off and completely down so then that way um you know we don't have anybody getting hurt or you know fingers in it and you know you have to worry about kids around so that's why so that makes it really nice too <clears throat> all right so this is almost ready to go so like i said 140 you'll see that it's going around um, just like all of our other electronics that we have with Pampered Chef. And then once it goes, it will do the countdown. So it will switch from temperature to time. And actually the temperature, I believe, will still stay on. But the bottom part will change to the time. All right, are you ready? Here it's going to go any second here. I'll be able to rinse it and this is done. So this is our deluxe cooking blender.